Scientists around the globe are hoping that the upgraded machine, which is massive, will be able to detect new particles. 16 miles in circumference underneath Geneva. Okay. We accelerate protons, which are these simple particles, to 99.999999% of speed of light. The world's most sophisticated nuclear device, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, finally went online in September 2008, following years of anticipation. The European Organization for Nuclear Research designed it, and building it is an extremely intricate operation. The Large Hadron Collider has advanced our knowledge of the cosmos over time. However, scientists are extremely interested in a recent breakthrough. A startling finding was revealed by CERN scientists after operating the Large Hadron Collider at full capacity. Since then, a plethora of explanations have been proposed by scientists to account for this defect. What became of the catastrophe, and how does it impact our ongoing and upcoming research? As we learn more regarding all of this, stay tuned. This particle collider is the biggest and most potent in the world. Its history is as intriguing as its intended use. It is more than simply a machine. The European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN, is a shining example of global collaboration and scientific inquiry. It started during World War II, when Europe was getting over a significant war. It was first used in the years following World War II. Famous scientist Louis de Broglie suggested creating a united European laboratory in 1950 as a way to boost peace cooperation and spur scientific innovation. Soon after, in 1952, the CERN Convention was signed by 11 nations, establishing the organization. Located near the French-Swiss border, CERN was established in 1957. Particle accelerators are required to make this happen. These enormous devices accelerate materials to almost the speed of light, then put them together to understand the fundamental elements of the cosmos. Let's go back in time to the 1980s, when the concept for the Large Hadron Collider was forming. The desire for more potent machinery to probe deeper into the secrets of matter grows as scientists become more demanding. With a ring of superconducting magnets and detectors spanning 27 kilometers, the LHC is regarded as the biggest and most potent particle accelerator in the world. The Large Hadron Collider is an incredible project in and of itself, with construction having commenced in 1998. Thousands of scientists and specialists from across the globe must work together to complete this enormous circle, which is situated 100 meters below the surface. After 10 years of construction, the LHC was prepared to start its historic trip in 2008. Both the difficulty of the Jura Mountains and collisions from the world above are avoided by the depth. This saves a great deal of money since fewer vertical lines need to be dug. Ultimately, with so much space underground, who would want to purchase pricey land above ground? What is this enormous ring on the ground used for then? It accomplished its initial collision in 2010 with an incredible 3.5 ter electron volts per beam. That is over four times the previous world record, to put things in context. And this is only the start. It now has a rating of more than 6.5 ter electron volts following several improvements. Imagine a collision between two matter beams that are moving almost at the speed of light. For you, that is the Large Hadron Collider. These fast-moving parts come together and clash at four distinct locations. Seven keepers, each built to watch and expose the numerous events generated by these collisions, wait impatiently around these sites. Every year for a month, the LHC shifts its emphasis from smashing protons together to heavy ions like lead. It's similar to a machine-only yearly festival. Our inquisitiveness about the cosmos holds the solution. The Large Hadron Collider is used by physicists to test some of the most enigmatic particle physics hypotheses. Studying the enigmatic Higgs boson and finding evidence of a vast particle family from supersymmetry theory are of special interest to them. Are you familiar with hadrons? These subatomic particles are made up of little quarks. Consider them to be the protons and neutrons building components. This chemical gives rise to particles when they collide, which is how the Large Hadron Collider gets its name. A lot of things are limited edition, 
and cannot be obtained in any other manner. Thus, any mishap within the vast subterranean ring resembles a massive detonation. The universe's light, its elements, and the forces uniting them will then be visible to scientists. Above ground, there is a structure equipped with all the tools required. Envision a space where air conditioners, fans, compressors, and electrical equipment are all managed. The fun part comes next. Each year, the LHC generates around 15 petabytes of data. To work with, a large amount of data is available, particularly for the Large Hadron Collider, an international partnership has been developed on the computer grid. Great art exists in the mesh itself. The discovery of the Higgs boson, a mystery particle, is the primary goal of the Large Hadron Collider. Scientists never seen these insects, yet they are like ghosts. Its immensity makes it hard to grasp. Producing a lot of Higgs bosons every minute, the Large Hadron Collider is a powerful device. It's similar like putting out a trap for a rare species that has never been discovered despite people believing it exists. There is more to come from the Large Hadron Collider. He is not only looking for the Higgs boson, he is also exploring other uncharted territory in physics, investigates the mysteries of the cosmos, including supersymmetry. A significant setback occurred for the Large Hadron Collider not long after it was launched in 2008. The crash was severely damaged by a magnet failure, which caused testing to be delayed for over a year. However, during its 2009 to 2013 operation, the LHC produced a number of noteworthy findings, such as the identification of the enigmatic Higgs boson. In order to prepare for more fun, the LHC underwent renovations and rebuilds in 2015 following its first successful mission. Its second run lasted from 2015 to 2018, after which it was put on hold until April 2022. Imagine the Earth's magnetic field as a shield that surrounds the planet. This balloon had an unexplained explosion that day. It wasn't a temporary issue either. It was quiet for 14 hours. Envision a stormy night when the window opens unexpectedly, letting in chilly air, deceased. There was a brilliant aurora in the sky. Fans of Stranger Things will undoubtedly recall the scary antagonist, the Mind Flayer. A few admirers questioned if the Mind Flayer would survive this separation. It's still an intriguing notion, but there's no denying the aurora's entertaining appearance. The co-rotating interaction region, CIR, from the sun is the cause. Large plasma structures called CIRs are created when varying velocities of solar winds interact. Imagine a rushing waterfall formed by the merging of two rivers, one swift and the other leisurely. The sun also ejects these CIRs to Earth in conjunction with other phenomena like coronal mass ejections. We witness an aurora, or brilliant light, as they collide. During the early hours of July 7, a CIR collision resulted in a persistent geomagnetic storm. Even the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration claims that the storm's coronal onslaught produced a great deal of pressure. The Earth's magnetic field serves as our protection, and interestingly, experts respond, no, cracks similar to this one frequently occur. These often end soon. Recent experiences, however, have demonstrated that this procedure can take up to an hour. Imagine residing in a home where storms occasionally cause the windows to jam. Even when the storm is mostly stopped, some water could still damage the seat. Similar to how most storms can be blocked by our magnetic shields, some energy still manages to sneak through. Harold Frey likened our magnetic resistance in 2003 to a shoddy structure. Most storms are kept out but every now and then some energy seeps through. Sometimes it's enough to make us stop using electronics or to provoke contemplation in the outdoors. Thankfully, there was no power or radio disruption. Rather, the fear of the Northern Lights was the astonishment that this cosmic occurrence brought to the inhabitants of the United States and Canada. Here's a secret revealed by scientists. The sun is getting stronger. In fact, at this stage of the cycle, they had observed more activity than they had anticipated. For us, what does this mean? Easy. 
Your odds are better if you want to see Aurora. In the next three years, there should be more color in the sky. Consider the LHC as a huge telescope that aids in the observation of little things in the cosmos by physicists. It has discovered some amazing things, including the Higgs boson object in July 2017. By the year 2021, 59 new hadrons had been found by the Large Hadron Collider. A new element known as the pentacork was found in July 2022. It is made up of a unique mix of quarks. There will be rivalry for time as well. Their ability to turn a profit has become less effective. However, scientists have a secret weapon they can adapt. The High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider is the name of the Large Hadron Collider that is now being developed. The initiative, which will be launched in June 2018, will provide the Large Hadron Collider a significant boost that will enable it to identify uncommon cosmic occurrences. What then makes the Large Hadron Collider so well known? On his first visit, he found the Higgs boson. New insights on these items are provided by the Large Hadron Collider's second operation. Scientists at the European Organization for Scientific Research, CERN, want to double the data and double the discoveries now that the third phase is set to conclude in 2025. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN is getting ready for an exciting trip. Imagine this. By 2029, after much preparation, this enormous machine will impact things 10 times more quickly than it did previously. There's more excitement to come. This phase is predicted to continue until 2042, when it will have grown by a factor of 10 compared to the conclusion of the third iteration. Now let's explore the fascinating realm of proton collisions. Protons can be compared to colored gum packets. These bags contain tiny particles known as quarks, which are kept together by smaller particles known as gluons. It resembles the dance of nature's minute features. Picture two jelly bean bags colliding with one another. Jelly beans or grains frequently disintegrate and take the shape of identifiable patterns. However, amazing things do occasionally occur. Head-on collision of two quarks or gluons. All of their energy is compressed by this impact and is then released explosively at an absolutely minuscule place. When doctors experience the light of the depths, it is a rare and intense moment. I was taken aback. To put this into perspective, picture yourself attempting to record a unique moment on a rocket that is continually exploding, where each blast creates an image that is 20 times larger than what your smartphone can record. A million terabytes of data will be recorded per second if all of this data is gathered. There is too much information here. In actuality, 40 million activities go place every second, the most of them are routine occurrences. This data body contains a single unique Higgs boson. Here comes Trigger, a sophisticated computer that, like a photographer, only chooses hundreds of the most intriguing encounters each second. Scientists would subsequently swarm to these times in an attempt to solve the secrets of the planet. Envision a massive machine attempting to decipher the mysteries of creation. Currently, his primary objective is to locate tiny items that have never been observed before in order to uncover new global mysteries. Now, there are some confusing aspects to this. Imagine them as the world's heavyweights, concealed behind hordes of microscopic items, and exhibiting tremendous strength. The majority of experts, however, think that these giants won't be seen during the third phase of the LHC. We'll receive a perspective or guide that resembles a treasure hunt, but with maps in place of real wealth. These illusions are but precursors of a more substantial revelation to come. Perhaps you are already familiar with this. Even though they are invisible, the enigmatic issues in our world are a part of it. Though they are so subtle that they are rarely observed directly, some novels may represent this dark stuff. It's similar to attempting to ride the wind. Although it's invisible, the impact is visible, like to the sound of leaves rustling. We search for additional items that move strangely at the Large Hadron Collider, suggesting the presence of things that are not visible to the naked eye. The hitch is that these signals are sometimes so weak that our searches fail to see them like trying to pick up on whispers during a rock event. However, 
Thanks to several improvements in Run3, we can now more effectively identify these dubious communications using our ears or detecting tools. A great deal. Plans are in place for the Earth's circular collider, a larger, more audacious device. Consider it the older brother of the Large Hadron Collider. The price of a sizable particle crusher might range from 900 to 21 billion euros. Not everyone, though, concurs with this notion. Some contend that we need to think about different significant research approaches in light of the hefty cost. Consider a major radio station situated on the moon, for instance, or a gravitational wave detector that finds cosmic rippling throughout space. Sabine Hassenfelder, a renowned physicist, thinks that the puzzles we aspire to solve may not be solved by this powerful supercomputer. It's comparable to purchasing a super camera that is unable to detect our new star a great deal will occur. The way the clues are disclosed one by one, and the additional explanations that come with each level makes it feel like we're in a cosmic detective thriller. Consider them as if they were intriguing TV shows that we would like to binge watch. A recently discovered aberration in the Earth's magnetic field that lasts longer than anticipated is a startling phenomenon. It's similar like discovering a hidden door you never knew existed in your house. What else may we discover next? But experts like Max Lachlan think we could have a problem. Max Lachlan proposed that the Mandela effect, a phenomena where people are transported to other worlds, was created by research conducted at CERN. Lachlan suggested that collisions of high energy particles at CERN would disrupt space-time irreversibly, propelling humanity in a slightly different path. The Mandela effect, so named because many individuals recall events or details differently from what actually happened, is the situation where many people mistakenly believe that Nelson Mandela died in jail in the 1980s rather than in 2013. The theory's proponents contend that this false recollection is proof of our shift to a different world rather than only a false memory. Lachlan's idea is intriguing, but many in the scientific world still disagree with it and find it to be dubious, displeased. However, there isn't any conclusive proof that they can persuade us of the same reality. But as these ideas spread, people started to worry for their own safety and lives. Establish stringent protocols in the first place to lower radiation levels. Workers employ dosimeter-equipped accelerators and detectors, and radiation risk regions are tightly regulated. Maintain electrical power by using safe engineering practices and protective materials. Another crucial problem is chemical safety, and there are excellent protocols in place for handling and getting rid of dangerous compounds. In addition to routine inspections and making sure that all the electrical systems adhere to international standards, the center focuses on electrical safety and fire prevention. Furthermore, CERN values the security of its workers. Employees are more equipped to handle crises like fires, chemical spills, and power outages thanks to training and safety programs. In addition, on-site medical services are offered to handle any medical emergency. The environment's protection is equally vital. Thanks for watching another episode. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.